damn squeaking sounds, bro. Holy fuck. YouTube, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I just got a little POV driving for you. Um, not really going to be doing anything extravagant, but I figured I'd just uh, add some more BMW M3 content. You guys have been showing the love. Sorry, I had to give a little bit of uh, response right there. Um, yeah, man. Um, Today's just gonna be a lot of POV driving. I uh, hope you guys like the video. And um, yeah, man, I'll add a little bit of commentary in here. But nothing crazy as far as talking goes. I'm gonna hit this light, fuck it. Um, recently just added the uh, Vorsteiner grill to the front. It took me a long time, man. I had to take the whole freaking bumper off. I had to add, take every single clip off. Uh, my friends were nice enough to buy me that for my birthday. Um, so yeah, you gotta take off both sides of the fender cover, fender lining. You gotta pop all the clips off, you gotta disconnect the sensors. And then on top of that, you have to, uh, you actually have to take the bottom parts of the clips off. And then you have to disconnect uh, the inner parts, like there's bracket coverings for both sides of the uh, bumper. So it took me a long time, man, I mean, because... Like it just, sometimes like you can't fit your, uh, like with the tools you have, it's very hard sometimes to take off everything, you know, so... Um, it took me a while, but hey, I saved a couple hundred dollars to do that rather than paying somebody to do it, you know what I mean? I'll show you guys some clips after I get this car wash, um, how it looks like, but it looks pretty dope, man. I really like the, I like the, uh, the grill. Hit traffic around this area, man. It kind of sucks, but what can you do? It's a two lane highway, man. You can't really do anything with two lane highways, you feel me? But yeah, man, as far as like uh, future mods go, like I think, um, my goal is to add a couple more things maybe like a uh i might actually upgrade the front mount intakes i was talking to a couple friends last night about it because right now we just have the, the burger motorsport ones um might change those because i got the new grill uh what else you know looking at super uh, single turbos <laughs> but you know i don't have the facilities for that yet man um super expensive I mean, obviously you could do a mad work to these. Like, obviously I'm gonna upgrade the port injection and whatnot. There's gonna be definitely a lot of performance upgrades still left. Oh, that was an RS, RS7 right there. That was nice. Um, but yeah, man. There's a lot of like, uh, like small minor things I need to upgrade. Like, or not upgrade, but like update a little bit. Like the fender on the right side got a little scratched. I think with black paint, man, it's like super hard to maintain. Um, you know, so when it comes to those type of things, you gotta make sure you're on top of your shit. And especially since I daily drive this, 
it's definitely difficult to keep it in the most pristine condition possible. I wish I would have PPF'd it, but I, you know, I told you guys that story about somebody backing into me earlier on, so it's kind of hard to like, you know, maintain it. But yeah, it is what it is, man. It comes with the car, right? When you daily drive something. Um, I gotta gotta get the car paint corrected. I uh, got a couple other things to do, like a little bit of a something on the left side fender. Um, I don't know what it is, but it needs to be like a little polished. Uh, you know, like if I don't tell you guys these things, obviously you wouldn't even notice them to be honest with you. But as an owner, sometimes it's a little bit of a nitpicky thing where it's like, man, I see this and it's like, I really want to get this shit done quick, right? Um, yeah, man. with this car we're reaching uh 15 and a half thousand miles um drove the, drove the fuck out of this thing man to be honest with you like before i used to be that guy who like oh like you know i don't want to i don't want to touch my car i don't want to put miles on it but now it's like bro you spend so much money on the car every month especially why not just fucking you know drive it till you freaking you know like you stole it bro you feel me so What's looking like right now?
nice SX5 right there. I like that Nardo gray color. I think that's Brooklyn gray. I've seen a lot of G80s with that color. Super slick, super, super slick. You got people sitting in the left lane going super slow, bro. <laughs> Sometimes I go on these drives, I'm like, man, maybe I'll see somebody on the streets, but man, it's so rare, dude. No one, maybe people don't recognize the G80s, or I just like, I'm lucky, like, like super unlucky, where it's like no one really wants to just drive. I don't know, man. But we're nearing towards the end of the summer, man. It's kind of sad to be honest with you but what can you do feel me thing about freaking uh getting freaking e85 man like it sucks that, like the fucking uh fuel gets freaking like it goes through fuel like nothing like i think somebody commented on my on one of my other videos like oh like trust me this guy's not spending 150 dollars a month on gas and he's such a freaking like and he's so legit on that because like bro i'm spending a lot more than 150 dollars spending like probably max like I can't even say a max there's no max I need a max win I'm spending a lot of money on gas bro no cap no fucking cap some horses in here Sometimes I get scared uh, doing the like the pops in the neighborhood because people will snitch, bro. I've had people call the cops already. Like I had like two police officers stop me in Twinsburg over like the loud noise. They'd be like, "Oh, we know where you live." And the first thing I didn't even give uh, the officer my license. The officer was like, "Oh, uh, you live on X amount of drive, right?" I'm like, "Yeah." How do you know that? He's like, "Oh, trust me, we've heard about you in Twinsburg." I'm like, "Oh, um, that kind of sucks." Like you know, I was like, "Well, I just, I mean, I get it, you know, like." It's kind of fucked up and like disrespectful to drive around in, in like a, a certain like a close residence and like be an idiot and 
you know, do gunshots and whatnot. Cause even on like the ring camera, dude, <laughs> I'll show you guys on the screen, but like literally people are posting saying, oh, I heard this gunshot. Oh, I did this. And like, bro, I was literally driving around that time, you know, like people get scared, man. And I, I respect that. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, if I'm an old dude and I hear a freaking pop, 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 pop at 12 AM, like what the fuck is going on? You know? So, holy shit. This guy almost freaking hit me, bro. Jeez. But like, you know, like those type of things, like, you know, they make me, they make me understand why people get mad about car beat people, you know, like car guys. Like, you know, like, don't be a dick. <laughs> I hear something. What is that? Oh, a Toyota. A Toyota. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Some background music, uh, music, music of the goat. Feel me? Come on, son.
some solid content for you guys, huh? And we got a Beamer saying, I love it, I love it. That dude is dope, though. That's fucking dope. I just, I love shit like that. I feel like that shit's so dope. And we got Sadu, man. They ain't copyrighting that shit, bro. That's what Sadu was born to die, bro. Let's see that shit, son. Come on. What we doing? What we doing? Bro, I kid you not. I was talking to you guys about gas earlier. I filled this bitch up two days ago. Two fucking days ago. It was at 300 miles. <laughs> it's at 111 right now. I'm telling you, I drive the fuck out of this shit. At the same time, you got mad, you get mad, but like, I don't know, bro. Shit's violent. And we got this Benzo coming in real hot. It's like a C class type shit. And that Lancer behind me. Makes me like so happy like I always fucking love people that like don't have the same power or whatnot because like it reminds me of like when I used to be fucking racing like this bro sometimes you just gotta get on the freeway man and Cut up with your boys, or I don't know, they're not boys, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. It was a little bit of a smaller video, but you know, I figured I'd get a little bit of content for you guys. If you guys, I know sometimes it gets hard to think about of ideas of what you guys want to like see. Um, but my goal is obviously to provide content to you guys, keep updating the car every single time I make a video, something gets added. Um, that way, there's like a little bit of more, like, uh, the content's kind of fresh, you know, it doesn't keep getting stale because I don't want, I mean, obviously you can't really put stale content out for a car like this, <laughs> feel me? But like, um, I guess for me, it's just like, hey, you know, I want to give you guys the most out of like learning about this car, learning about finances a little bit, learning about what, uh, how to save up for a car like this, um, you know, make sure you understand where like you need to put your money into growing up and if you're in your teen years, if you're, look at this guy. Look at this guy, look at this person, look at this person. What the fuck are we doing here? What are we doing here, bro? Jesus Christ, move up a little bit, you Like, come on, bro, what are we doing? Um, but you know, like, uh, just, you know, understanding, like, where it is, it's good to put your money, where it's not good to put your money, simple kind of, small things like that, you know? Um, pulling up on this laser wash, but I don't know if they're open might be closed oh no they're open they're open all right but do i really want to spend 10 15 dollars on a laser watch when i could just freaking do this shit at home yeah fuck it bro all right i'm not gonna wash it i'm gonna show you guys the outside of it though i do want to show you guys what it looks like because the grill actually it looks super dope with uh the way it looks right now so let me just try to see where i could do it maybe i could go right Conrad's. Are they open? Oh, there's definitely people there. I don't even know where I'm going, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, I think this might be like an area where I could just film real quick. Yeah, alright, so we'll just, we'll just show you guys the car from the outside real quick. Um, yeah, so the car is still dirty. Obviously, it has the carbon fiber grill that I put in. It took a little bit of time to put it in, but we had to pull off the whole bumper like I was telling you guys earlier. M3 badge is right there, so we're going to have to add that. I got that from IND. Um, but pretty dope, man. Car looks good. Obviously, still got to lower it a little bit. Sounds amazing at idle. But man, I got a lot of plans for this car, man. We're going to push your 10,000 horsepower, right? Promise you. I promise you we will. But hope you guys enjoyed the video today, man. Always, uh, if you guys have any comments or if you guys have any questions about the car or anything else, 
just pull up pull up in the uh, comment section and I'll try to answer whatever I can um, and yeah man if, be sure to like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are having a good time I'm gonna keep putting content out I'm trying to do it every week man I'm what I usually happens is like I'll uh, videotape this and then I'll go to the editing it's like Adobe Premiere Pro and sit down for a couple hours edit a good video and then post it by like 9 o'clock 10 o'clock p.m. whatever it is and whenever I get time man I really you know I want to get the content out to you guys like I was saying a little bit earlier because it's like it's pretty dope to have um, this kind of car and then show it off to you guys and you know if anything it's motivation to you guys and influence you to one day own something like this if not this um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video peace